What is good, Vibe Gang? It is your boy, Ray here, with another one. Addison, 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 shout out to you for the dono, Addison. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. For real. Got another machine gun, Kelly. MGK lead you on. Federico, do me a favor real quick, man. Cut the beat. I'm gonna get into this, right? Why well, you mad stuff for though? Now, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Let's go. Mashika Kelly, it is on you. You gotta speak from your heart, and it gets harder every time. That's a fact. at the surface but the bottom's where I'm at only place my addiction will tell me that I'm free at last so why the fuck you playing with my head I said I'm done and even everything I had is gone I said you want you promised that we'd only be together for a minute then we finished but my life is past another year why the fuck is you in I gave up everything for you even my house now I'm begging on a nightly basis to sleep on the couch I'm telling you, man, when it was, oh, my God. <sighs> Addiction is... This, once it once it grabs you, it feels like you're in a relationship. It's all the all the doubles that he's doing right now, because that's what it is. Drugs come before your wife. Drugs come before your kids, before your job, before your family, and your friends. Once once that bitch got a hold on you. She ain't letting go. But recovery, if you if you're that deep into it, recovery is it's scary. It, it's like uh no thank you. I know what happens if I get off. And it's not gonna happen. I was addicted to a lot, a lot of, of just different pills. Mainly Roxy's, but I, I, if you had it, I'll take it. And it. That was just what it was. Not knowing where I was going, not knowing the vision because I was so clouded. I started to focus more on all the negative things. And us as addicts, we tend to do this. We tend to take every little thing that happens to us. It could be the smallest thing in the world, and we exaggerate it as a, it's a big deal. Because that's that's giving yourself reason to push yourself away from everybody. And that's all that that's doing. It's just pushing you away from people. So you act that way. I've been there. Fucking sucks. Because in the bottom, the bottom line of it, in the back of your head, you know... What you're doing is fucked up. But it's just, it got, it, once your body is used to, once your mind is used to being in that type of, in that type of cloud, it's hard to get out of it. 
Because we're, we're chasing that feeling. We're chasing the first time that, that bitch hit is good. We're never going to find it. We want to live in that numbness for like the first time, what, what it was. That nothing bothered you no more. All that pain that you were feeling, that first hit took everything away. Thank the Lord above and my wife and the vibe gang. And I'm here to tell you, it doesn't lead to anything better. It just gets worse. And worse and worse and worse. You're never going to find that high again. You know what's the best thing in the world? Being sober and getting excited soberly. You may sound like the stupidest thing in the world. But getting excited, being absolutely sober, is the best high in the world for me. Now. I don't need weed. I don't need to smoke this shit. I'm, I'm good without it. It's just this, the anxiety. It's not easy me coming in front of the camera and talk. It's not. Still, still to this day, I'm still not easy. So this calms me a little bit so I could function somewhat. <laughs> but it, it's, it's, it's a nasty fucking road and it doesn't lead to anything better. And I, I know that a lot of them, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. That Okay, cool. Okay. I'm not expecting to open somebody's eyes. That's not what I'm trying to do. I know that that's impossible. No, Nothing no one's going to say to you is going to make sense to you at that moment because you're always going to come up with that one excuse. Now, you know why he wrong? <laughs> that's how I'm assuming them do it. You know why he's wrong? Because it's yada, 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 yada. And you make up shit just so you can be the right one in all of this. So people can not think that you're not on drugs. When you're clearly acting that you are in on drugs. It, it gets better. It does get a whole lot better. Like I have never thought in my whole entire life that I was going to be smiling like this. I don't even think I was going to make it to 39. I didn't plan that far. It gets a whole lot better. It does. But it's going to be a bitch to get to, to, to your, happy po up your happy spot. It's going to be work. It's going to hurt. It's going to be painful. It's going to be the worst agonizing pain in your life. And it's worth every single fucking bit of it. Every minute, every hour, every week, every month. Facts. For you weave in my house. Now I'm begging on a nightly basis to sleep on the couch. My counselor said I need to find a way to block the pain. I told him it was already too late. She is in my veins and he said. What led you on? I'd love to know. Well, it's just that. When I felt her the first time I flew, nobody gives me the high that she do. See, we fight all the time and she leaves bruises on my arms. But the way she makes me feel inside that girl can do no wrong. Now all my family hates me since I started fucking with her. And all my friends done left me because they jealous that I'm with her. I See how he's talking? He's defending her. And her, that girl. That's her. He was on. He was on that. It, that that's a tough one. That's a that's a tough one. That is tough. If if, if I'm at MGKB doing that type of because he he just wants he just wants to get lost. He just he just wants to be in a whole other world. He does not want to be here. And. I'm happy that he's able to come out and talk like this about it because let's keep it a hundred. Like these type of conversations absolutely have to be had. 
that there's there's a lot of people out there that are feeling like they they're stuck in, in in a box that they can't get themselves out of, and they feel suffocated and they they don't know what to do. And yes, obviously, drugs are are going to make that go away. And then you're not going to be able to live without it. The best thing, the best thing that I could say is, you, you, you just got to find that support. If, if you know that you have support out there, you need to talk to somebody and, and, and or, or Google somebody that you can talk to about whatever it is that you're feeling to get yourself off. Of like, I, I wish I could, I could, I could do something like to come up with something like to help people go get clean, because that's my my main objective. Doing my page pretty soon. There's a lot of things coming on the page that me and my wife are working on, and, and pretty soon it is about helping the addicts, help, helping helping those that I know that are looking for that that help. They're not going to be judged. They're not going to be in anything. It's going to be an open, hey, we're here to help each other stay sober. That, that's what we're here for. Because we, I know it's not easy doing it by yourself. My wife didn't understand what this type of pain that I was going through. Emotionally, physically, and all that. She, she didn't know that. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it's 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 a it's a tough subject to talk about because it brings it opens up wounds that I I can't say I'm trying to forget because you can't I can't forget but if I forget what I was and how I was that it's gonna be a, a a bigger chance of me going back into that. If I forget the type of person that I was and the type of things that I was doing, they were horrible. So, it, it's just it's just good that people can have outlets like this, like YouTube and, and TikTok and everything else, that they could actually express how they're feeling and let their emotions out that way. Instead of, you know... Just dive into the whole drug scene and then get lost in it. Because once you get in that drug scene, I'm going to tell you this right now, you will not ever, ever get out of it. Unless, unless you, you, you see that you have a bigger issue that you can't handle and decide that you want to get yourself clean. And, and it proves you, we are strong people, man. We're strong. So you guys could do it. Your body could take it. Your mind could take it. Don't doubt yourself. You're, you're making yourself seem weaker than what you really are. You guys could do it. I know you can. Because if I could have done it, you could do it. I was popping pills like it was fucking skips. Every day. It started like on the weekends and then it went on to like I needed it in the morning. I needed it before lunch. I needed a little bit after lunch. I needed some before I closed. And then some on the way home. I was... I was in my own world. And now I'm enjoying... The new world. But it, it was tough. And... I know we can do it. I absolutely know we can do it. Like I said, I celebrated 14 of 14. Diablo. <laughs> 10 years sober four days ago. So I'm on track to where I wanted to be when I started this. And I'm happy where I'm at right now. Right now, I'm in a comfortable position. Where I'm eating a little bit healthier. I'm doing less of the bad stuff. And, and I'm trying to stay clean as possible. And I'm good. I'm just good.
Come in. The water is fine. The water is fine. Come on in. We waiting on you. Hurry up. Because Kimberly's going to eat the rest of the hot dogs. That's why. <laughs> Come on. We waiting on you, man. Hurry up. Started fucking with her. And all my friends done left me because they jealous that I'm with her. I tried to break it off, but she gets me back with the feel after everything she did. Why the fuck do I love that needle? Please help me. Why is I turn my back on you? Love's killing me, literally. Every time I start to pick you up, you finish me. Used to love waking up in the mornings and feeling you. Now I'm just ashamed wearing long sleeves, concealing you. Bitch, you wasn't shit. How the fuck could you do this? Now my fucking life is ruined. I'ma kill you, bitch. I'll do it so I. How can you do this after all the love that I gave you? The feeling that I used to have when I took you in the morning. And how can you do this to me? You betrayed me. You were the one that was supposed to. The relationship that a drug addict has with his drug is an actual relationship. You're the one that's getting me out of this. You're the one that is that is, that is letting me escape from this world. And after all the love I gave you, this is what you did for my life? Now my fucking life is ruined, I'ma kill you bitch, I'll do it so I Tie it up, stick that shit up in my skin And overdose on your love so I can't have it again uh. Put the needle back in my arm and overdose it so I could So your love I could always have That's crazy bro And have it again uh. I'm telling you, it, it's the conversations he's be having in these songs. It, it it's really one of those that I'm happy to to always do and always listen because just the the the, the pure emotion, the pure feeling that he's putting into this song, it it's relatable. It's absolutely relatable. And that's one of the reasons why I fell in love with FGK's music. He, he does and he says a lot of things that I can, in my everyday life and in what I have to deal with on an everyday basis, I really, really, really understand it. This was amazing. I, lo I love this. this. I love this. Facts. Guys, I love you guys. I got more coming. I'm, I'm going to try to push it and, make, and do all seven. So I'm a, you're probably going to see me get more tired and more tired as I go. But I got to catch up to a lot of reactions. So I love you guys. I'm going to talk to you guys in a minute. Peace. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. That's fuck.